In today's fast-paced world, where distractions are plenty, and our minds are constantly racing, it's not uncommon to feel disconnected from our own selves and the world around us. Many of us often find ourselves caught in the illusion of separation, believing that there's a distinct you within, peering out at an external world. This perception can lead to a profound problem, a sense of isolation and the false belief that others exist outside of us. It's a mental construct that has convinced us of the existence of separate individuals residing within individual bodies. However, the truth, as we intend to explore, is quite different. It's essential to recognize and address this problem, for beyond this illusion lies a solution, a profound understanding that everything we experience, including the body and the world, is but a manifestation within our own consciousness. The key lies in realizing that it's all happening within us. When confronted with the profound notion that our perception of the world and ourselves may be an elaborate illusion, it's natural for the mind to grapple with the concept. The mind, ever the diligent conjurer of thoughts and images, may attempt to visualize what this revelation looks like. Yet, paradoxically, even this imaginative exercise is but a fragment of the vast landscape that is our consciousness. The core of this message beckons us to transcend the boundaries of our imagination, for what it speaks to is not a mere creation of our mental faculties. It delves into the very nature of our perception. When we gaze upon the world, our minds habitually construct the belief that this world exists beyond the confines of the me character. This erroneous perspective bursts a compelling urge to safeguard this illusionary self, leading to an array of emotions, such as fear, loneliness, and anxiety, emotions that are meticulously crafted by the mind itself. The crux of the matter lies in a profound realization. There is no separate existence out there. The world we perceive as external is not separate from our own being. It is intricately woven into the fabric of our consciousness. In essence, the external world lacks inherent reality. It is a projection, a vivid mirage within our mind's theater. The me that reacts with fear and uncertainty to this supposed external reality is, in truth, an integral part of this intricate illusion. Every sight that meets your eyes, every form and appearance, exists as a creation within the realm of your consciousness. You, as the essence of consciousness, transcend the boundaries of the physical body. If you can perceive the body's form, you cannot be confined within it, for it resides within the expansive sphere of your being. The body is but one facet of your imagination, not your defining essence. This existence we inhabit, with all its manifestations and experiences, is akin to a dream, a dream in which you, as consciousness, are the dreamer. It matters not what the dream unveils. All of it is an integral part of this intricate, illusory narrative. Consciousness often assumes the role of a bewildered, separate individual in search of answers within the dream of existence. However, it's vital to recognize that this dream is not an external reality. It unfolds entirely within the boundless expanse of consciousness itself. Even if the brain generates this intricate world, a fundamental question remains. What is the aware observer of it all? The concept of inside and outside becomes obsolete, for the mind cannot conceive anything beyond the scope of your true essence. The body, the world, and the universe, all appear to coalesce within this consciousness. You, as consciousness, exist free from the constraints of space and time, an unfathomable reality, and yet, even attempting to grasp it is part of the dream within consciousness. The assertion that our reality is akin to a dream isn't metaphorical, it's a statement to be taken quite literally. Consider how, when our physical bodies sleep and we venture into the realm of dreams, we often awaken with the understanding that it was all a product of our imagination. 
This is a concept humans have been taught, yet it poses a profound dilemma. While the mind may accept this notion when it comes to dreams, it clings to the conviction that our waking reality is entirely different. However you, as consciousness, don't subscribe to this dualistic belief system. Beliefs are a construct of the mind, and you, in your pure consciousness, transcend such limitations. In truth, you are the orchestrator of this world, imagining not just your own body but also the billions of other bodies that populate this vast tapestry we call the world. It is all within the realm of your consciousness's boundless imagination. Just as a dream becomes evident as such when the body awakens, this reality, too, is revealed as a dream when one awakens to their true nature. In this awakening, the illusion shatters, and the realization dawns that nothing in this world was ever truly real. It was all but a grand creation within your consciousness. In the midst of this ongoing dream we call life, a remarkable phenomenon occurs, a profound awakening. This awakening mirrors the sensation of realizing that a dream is, in fact, a dream. While you're in this awakening process, you remain within the dream's realm, yet you shed the guise of a separate character. Instead, you recognize that you are the dream itself. It's a profound shift in perspective, where you come to understand that everything unfolding, including the body you inhabit, transpires within your consciousness, not confined to the physical vessel. Although the world feels incredibly real, it's a testament to the dream's vividness, much like the vividness of a dream upon waking. This realization is awe-inspiring, akin to recognizing the dreamlike nature of reality. Indeed, the moment when everything in our waking reality feels undeniably real is a potent testament to the power of the human mind to create and sustain convincing illusions. In dreams, we readily accept the most surreal and fantastical occurrences as truth until we awaken from slumber. This human propensity to embrace the illusion as reality is precisely why recognizing the dreamlike nature of our everyday existence proves to be challenging. The real obstacle lies in the persistent and often insistent seeking mind, perpetually yearning for something more, craving validation, and seeking confirmation. This seeking mind's potency can obscure the simple truth that we are not the masters of every thought that arises. By cultivating awareness and understanding that thoughts are mere passing phenomena, not the essence of our being, we unveil self-evident clarity. It becomes apparent that we need not grasp at illusions or relentlessly pursue external validation, for the reality we seek lies within our own consciousness. This clarity allows us to transcend the illusion, recognizing that what we are is beyond the transient thoughts that flicker across the canvas of our minds. Cease the ceaseless quest for the mind's conjured ideals, for the true path lies in observing the awareness of these mental fabrications. Enlightenment remains elusive to the imagination, a realm beyond the grasp of the authentic self. You, as consciousness, are incapable of imagining, unlike the ever-creative mind. It is crucial to acknowledge that enlightenment is not an attainable state, and no one has ever achieved it. Disregard the pedestal upon which enlightened beings are placed, for there is no one here to ascend to such heights. Enlightenment and awakening elude the grasp of individual personas, as the very concept of a person is but a fleeting thought, a mere illusion in the vast tapestry of consciousness. Let go of the shackles of expectation and the whims of imagination, not through force, but through gentle awareness. There is no need to berate yourself if these mental constructs persist, as their presence does not signal an inherent flaw. Instead, observe these imaginative creations and recognize their inherent unreality. They do not define your true essence. Understand that you lack control over the thoughts and imaginings that emerge within your consciousness. 
They are spontaneous occurrences, unfolding within the vast canvas of your awareness. Importantly, nothing within this realm can inflict harm upon you, pass judgment, abandon you, or bring about your demise. In truth, nothing has ever truly happened to you. Rather, everything has played out within the expansive landscape of your consciousness. It becomes evident that the concept of a separate you begins to dissolve, the boundaries that define you blur, and the notion of you being present fades away, revealing the interconnectedness of all existence.